y'all? So most of you know that I spent over um, a decade in the Texas prison system. I've been home for like 13 and a half months now, and I still have not been to a real salon, and I still have not gotten a real haircut. I'm still cutting my hair the same way that I did in prison. It's time for me to trim my hair, and so I thought that you guys might be interested in seeing how we do it in there. So in TDCJ, they issue us a comb upon arrival, and it's about half of this size. I didn't keep that comb, but I found this in um, Brittany's uh, electric trimmer set, and so I thought I would try to use that. So basically, I'm just gonna flip my hair over. So I just comb it all forward like this, and you're gonna see, depending, it's gonna layer my hair. And so the lower my head goes, the, the longer the layers. If I do this, it's gonna make shorter layers. This, longer layers. So I keep a long, I like longer layers, so I put my head all the way down like this, and then I literally, um, literally take toenail clippers. Can y'all see these? I can't see y'all. I hope you can see it okay, because I can't see what I'm doing on camera. And then I just clip however short I want to go. And they sell these clippers on our commissary for, um, I think it's like 30 cents or 60 cents. It's really nothing. Um, and I did this as a side hustle. I cut other people's hair in prison um, and I would charge about $3.50 worth of commissary. Uh, when I was incarcerated, ramen soups were um, they cost 35 cents, so that's how I would charge, I would say, 10 soups. And you're going to see I'm doing this in real time so you can see how quick it is. I, I cheated. I have a hairbrush. I did have a hairbrush when I first got incarcerated. They took them away from us at the end of my um, sentence. Somebody probably did something stupid with it. I'm just getting the little stragglers. Okay, that's it. That's my, my trim right there. <laughs> So that's it, y'all. That's my prison haircut. You